Hey, hello YouTube. I'm Karan from India, and in this video, we're going to talk about the value of algorithm in your code, the right method of coding. So, to understand this concept of value of algorithm, we have four files here, and this file I have got from one of the test files that TSNEC has provided to make us understand the usage of Darkbox. So, I found this file quite nasty cause it is taking too much time for take to showing that simple output on the CMD console so which leads to the bad impact of the dark box server itself so here I am not saying that tsnake has did wrong coding or he is not a good batch programmer here I am saying that anywhere we are on any level there is always a room for updation we can be improved and our work can also be improved so keeping this thing in mind I made an alternative for this test file and both have the same output on the same console but there is a quite large difference between the execution time of both as you can see the file by tsnake has 364 bytes memory and the mine has a little largest so it has 476 bytes both are using the darkbox batch server here we have rc function written by rovender about so he is also a good batch programmer you must visit his website for these type of functions uh, so let's stick with the topic and open cmd here let's see what is the execution time difference between these two files and what is the right method of coding so let's see the execution time for the first file that is by tsnake so pressing enter and as you can see it has printed a checkboard type output on the console and it has taken to 10 milliseconds while the other file that i have created with the same output on the CMD console has taken only 60 milliseconds so here you can see there is a difference of 150 milliseconds is a large number because it is not a big time difference but if you have to type this file 50 or 100 times on the console then it will become quite big number so how I have achieved this difference showing the same output on the same GMD console using the same plugin the difference is only because of the algorithm so let me open both files with sublime and this is the file by tsnake here what he has he is doing is he is making two nested serve for loops this is the main code here all else is the same as in both files so I'm not going to talk about that. I'm directly jumping towards the difference between two files. So here tsnake is calling a function sq which he has made here and each time the for loop is running it is calling the function multiple times to print different colors x on the cmd console. While in my algorithm there is no function. There is no external function and all the loop all the things are doing inside the loop and I have simplified the algorithm and and written some if statements to create the logic here his code that's why his code is smaller than mine but his algorithm is slower than mine because CMD can easily check if statements instead of transferring the loop or transferring the control from here then jumping down here executing this code then jumping back and then each time with the for loop is calling the control is flowing like this one and it results in the broken flow of the code while in my algorithm there is no breakage of the flow so that's why it is running quite smoothly than the original code of the tsnake so here I am not criticizing anyone or showing that I am great but I am trying to 
make things better and showing that there is always a room for betterment of the things that's the power of right algorithm i hope you understand my concept and will write more efficient and good codes thanks for watching feel free to subscribe bye bye